Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I am going to solve or teach you about the SD1 and SD2 in PySpark. Okay, so this is not related only the PySpark. You can do the same thing in SQL in any data warehouse things and it is very important actually. So try, try to understand the concept. This concept will be used in any tool, even it is ADF, Databricks, Snowflake, or any other things, right? So please try to understand. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you SD1. And the next video, I'm gonna teach you SD2, okay? So let me share my screen so that you know you guys will understand more, right? Okay, very good. So this is the code I have written over here. So just I will go through it and, ex and explain you. Before that, I have a course which, which is end-to-end -end Azure Databricks Theory Plus Project. It This course has four courses over here, you can see. Okay, uh, and uh, uh, you know, like Python course and Delta Lake Project, LLM course and Databricks course. So if, you, if I open one of the course over here, you can see this is the Databricks Certified Data Engineering course. 440 people have uh, bought it till now and around 22 hours of content is present. See, this course has everything which is required. So I'm not teaching here what is RDD. Okay, I mean, I have to, I have taught you, but I didn't go in a deep because all these things are not valid as of today in Databricks, right? So go up, guys, right? And everything is over here. Delta Lake feature, batch versus streaming, Databricks utility, Unity catalog, Spark optimization method, utility framework, Delta Live tables, blah, 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 right? So I hope that you will like this course. So this is a bundle. So if you want, you can, you know, uh, just enroll into it. And if you want individual course, then you can click on the course button and you will see all the individual courses over here, right? So let's go back to the thing. So where is my Excel? This is my sheet. Okay. So the concept here, you know, or the problem here is that we have this source, okay? You can see the, we have this source, we have this data and we are gonna do it. We are gonna copy this, the whole code, the whole data uh, into our table, okay? And once, so since it is the first time we are doing an initial load, so we will copy all the data, right? Now, in the second run, what might happen in the source that this third row might be uh, updated. The age column is updated here, 56. And uh, some new rows also got added, like four rows, uh, 20. Now, so what actually we have to do, we have to actually up, uh, update the existing row. Okay, and I have to, or I have to insert a new row. Okay, that I have to do. So how we can do it in the coding. So let's see. So this is the output table I have created. And for now, let me remove these two rows. Okay. And let me run this code first. And what I will do, I will drop the table. I already dropped. No, it's okay. Very good. So here, if you can see, this is the data frame. And if I try to print the data frame, right? so that you will also uh, get an understanding. So here we have all the same thing, like ID, name, age, and uh, we have here, you know, this data, right? So since this is the first time we are running this job or this notebook, you can assume. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I, I have write a code here that if not a Spark catalog table exists, then I'm running this code, okay? And this is nothing but a source data frame, the same data frame, right? Else, if the table is present, present, then I have to check whether the row is uh, whether the row is updated or whether the key is present or not, and then based on that, I have to do some operation, right? So first of all, since we have uh, since we have uh, we do not have a table, it's the first time, so I have and this code will run, okay. And uh, what we can do, we can just simply write select star from table, and you will see that we will having here three. Those, right, very good. Now, let me change a source data frame. So we can assume that 
we have uh, two more rows and uh, for the, this third row what i did let's say the age got updated with 47 uh, right from 46 to 40, 47 now if i run this code what will happen it will only it will it will first check based on the condition see uh, merge into the table name and then using the using your the data frame or the new data right so i have i have created a temporary view on top of data frame that's why i have written this and on primary key so here we have to define the primary key so every table has a should have a primary key or if if you if you do not have a single primary key then what you can do you can add here more condition more columns okay you maybe you can create a composite key out of it so i'm saying on basis of this you join and if it is match if these keys are matching right then update update these things okay and if it is not matching then if this condition is not matching then insert a new values okay so if i do this you and if i run this you will see that we we got the data here five nickel for this and blah 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 like now you can see you, you can see over here three id got uh, 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 age of third id is got updated with the 47 right now what if okay very good right this is what and here if you want to change you can also change this condition you can also change this condition it is up to you right so uh, yeah that's it for the today's video in the tomorrow's video i'm gonna teach you about sd2 right and then i will tell you about cdc like how we can leverage cdc to do a sd1 or sd2 right so till then thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture